When you're working by yourself, you can often get tunnel vision and you don't really understand why when something isn't working, when you're into it for so long. So it's these times where you can really benefit from a fresh pair of eyes from someone else. This is why I created this new series where I get to critique and give feedback to your architecture and interior drawing. If you are brave enough for me to roast your work, you can send it to me in the link below. There is a chance that I will only get to some of them, but they will be the ones that I will share publicly to benefit others as well. Before we get started, I have a quick announcement to share. Quick announcement, I just opened up my registration for iPads for Architects Masterclass program. I teach this class live once a year. If you missed it earlier this year, now is another opportunity to get in. You have access to everything when I taught the course live, plus all recordings that you can watch at your own pace. My course only goes on sale publicly once a year, so if you are interested, I made a quick video that explains everything you get and how it works. You can check it out in the link below. Without further ado, let's get into this week's critique. This was actually a drawing submitted by a student from my iPad for Architects Masterclass, and you can see my live critique with the student. So the first thing I noticed in here was in terms of graphic legibility, I, I personally would like to see a thicker line weight for the cut lines. And that's just going to read better that it's a cut surface for the post shade wall. So here I've just gone ahead and just increase the thickness. If you just squint your eyes a little bit, that's gonna read better. I also noticed that uh, there are a couple of areas where you maybe perhaps included too much details. I'm not sure if you actually need to see the blocking, the wood blocking behind the sink or the things in the shaft. I just don't think those are necessary information to be part of the sketch. And maybe this project required it, but in general, I think a sketch needs to show the concept of space planning. It doesn't really need to show this level of detail. So I would consider not drawing those details in here. If anything, it might actually confuse someone when they're looking at it. And same thing with an elevator shaft or a you know shaft for plumbing. Those are the typical typical things that I would just push in with a color. I also noticed the the cut line does not extend into the areas where you have your kitchen wall and the bathroom wall. You know, I'm assuming those are solid walls. And if they're solid walls, they should really receive the same kind of treatment as the cut line that, you sh that you've shown in here. I know this is probably you're showing the exterior wall, but just for the sake of clarity, I think you can just show the inside wall the same as the exterior wall cut line. That's just gonna make it a little bit more clear because when you're cutting through a wall, everything should just read the same, even though these interior walls might be thinner in width and whereas the exterior walls are obviously thicker. So I would consider just using the same line weight, extending that in here and the coloring in yellow or another color. The, the real point is to, to show that that is the wall. So if you don't, it might read a little strange just, just to me because I wasn't sure. You know, if somebody is looking at it for the first time, you want them to understand it as quickly as you can, just in terms of the graphic legibility. I'm kind of nitpicking on you a little bit here. You know, there are just probably other lines like the, you know, the, the lines in the, between the bathroom door and the outside. These probably don't need to be shown and just kind of confusing. We just really want to simplify things as much as we can in a drawing. There is some texture that you could maybe show on the terrace to indicate whether this terrace is a wood terrace or a concrete surface. So that's the kind of things that we can embellish a little bit more. You are showing so much details in the rest of the plan, but in this part, I feel like it's missing the texture and the materiality. This railing right here, not sure why that's just, you know, colored on, coloring on this side and not on that side. So a little bit more information would be nice. So if this railing is a glass railing, that may look thinner. If this railing has posts in between, you may consider showing the post every four feet or so. It reads as, you know, cable rails with posts or wood or wood guardrail with posts. 
right now there's not enough information in here for me to understand what that is even though we're just looking at in plan so your information should be fairly consistent from the inside to outside if you're showing all of these details which is fantastic on the table and you should really bring that level of consistency to the outside as well a couple other things are just you know i think this and this is probably closets right or storage and if they are you know you can denote it with doors that are you know open to outside at least here in the us we don't really show closet with a x so that just seems a little strange to me you can just kind of dash in the in-between separation same thing with the kitchen overhead cabinets i think this is what you mean by the excess to denote there are storage above the kitchen counter so i think that looks confusing to me too so i would just dash in the line to show the upper cabinets and not to have the excess in my own drawing sometimes i like to include you know the text for what each of the area is i just think it adds a little bit more richness to the overall drawing so that's something that you can bring in but maybe put it on a different layer so you can take it out or turn it off as an export when you don't need to overall i think this is actually a really beautiful plan to to be starting with if you can make these adjustments I think it's going to make this drawing read a little bit better and cleaner too. You don't want to confuse your, your client or the viewer. So make it as easy as, as you can is really the goal behind the drawing. And part of that is really just to show the same consistency in the wall. Let me know if you enjoyed this episode. If you want to participate, the instruction for submitting your work is in the link description below.